Hello, good morning, students. In our lesson number eleven, our natural resources. We have studied last week that resources are those things which satisfy our need. There are different type of resources, natural resources, which nature has given us, like air, water, soil. Then we have rocks, we have minerals, we have plants, animals, and other different things. They are all natural resources. Children, man, slowly, slowly, with the time spent with these resources, they have learned to utilize these resources for their needs. Previously, man did not know how to utilize these things. Minerals were there in the primitive age, but man did not know. Slowly, slowly, they understood. And children, I tell you, the first mineral to be discovered by human beings or man was copper. Later on, they discover iron, which is one of the most useful metals yet means discovered yet. Okay, so these resources are now used by human beings to for their development, for their progress, to satisfy their needs, and so it is called the gifts of nature. We call them as gifts of nature. Children coming to resources as we discuss resources are something or the things. that nature has given us means natural resources and they satisfy our need and they are available in the environment in our environment and there are two type of resources we discuss we um, that the things we get naturally like soil or land or water or air and then we have minerals and even the forest resources forest products all these things are called natural resources now things which are artificially made by man they are called natural not natural so they are called yes they are called human made resources okay now human made resources are like buildings roads your offices schools then all these are resources isn't it you come to school for to study you go to office a person goes to office for working then machines they are all made by human beings machines are made by human being electricity they take the electricity tap the energy and produce electricity that is also yes that is also resource but this resource is made by human beings has been generated by human beings electricity which we need to uh, put on our lights fans or refrigerator or your television or your air cooler or air conditioner you need electricity but electricity is not made or generated or produced by nature yes man is made um, making these things or generating these things or producing these things with the help of natural resources but man has made uh, had learned to make machines learned to make uh, different tools learned to make uh, electric means generate electricity and all these things from where we get electricity we get uh, we get electricity by water by coal by gas all these things are natural so from natural resources we are producing so children there are two type of resources which we discuss one is natural resources and one is the man made resources now coming to the types of natural resources now first we discuss the natural resources and again natural resources are also uh, divided or categorized into two they are exhaustible resources and inexhaustible resources exhaust exhaust means over finished like uh, you say that 
we brought bought some uh, spices and those spices to make our uh, food items and they are all exhausted we have used it okay so exhausted or exhaustible by this word you can understand that they are over they will be finished okay exhaustible resources are those resources which once used you cannot get it back as i tell you the minerals which we use the metals which we use the fuel which we use take an example of petroleum petrol you must have seen uh, people uh, you know filling their uh, petrol in their vehicles whether it is a two wheeler or a three wheeler or a four wheeler or whatever trucks and other thing we need fuel to run all our vehicles now petrol once used can you get it back to me no it is already gone similar minerals which we uh, uh, dig the soil and take it out like take the example of iron iron we get by taking out from the mines mines are the places where minerals are found deep under the soil once it is taken out and used for making your houses maybe or the window grills or your gate or whatever we need iron for it many purposes so once used can you get it back can you say that i want it back and i want want to turn this again into i no it is over finished okay so these things are called exhaustible once used you cannot get it back so similarly natural resources are of two types exhaustible and inexhaustible inexhaustible we are going to study later first take up exhaustible now children very important the spellings you should know e x h a u s t i b l e exhaustible resources resources means things which we need to satisfy our needs or for our development progress some natural resources such as metals metals like iron copper aluminum or gold take the example of gold you must have seen uh, people wearing gold now gold you also is found in as a lump under the soil and then taken out then taken to the you know the goldsmith they turn into jewelry now from jewelry can you get it back the gold over so, finish so aluminum and fuel fuel like coal petroleum natural gas which you 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 use in your homes for cooking gas for cooking the food the gas which is used can you get can we get it back again no they are over so these things are available in a limited quantity because as i told you children that they are made they take millions of years to form because they are formed from the dead animals and plants or maybe the even dead marine animals and, and the sea plants which you get under the water so these things when they die they take millions of years to harden up and form these minerals and fuels so it takes a lot of time so once they are over you cannot get it back immediately it will take time so they are in limited quantity and we should not misuse them once used they can can't be created anymore they are also called raw non renewable resources non means you cannot renew means get it back like in school library you know that when you have taken a book for reading and you have not finish you go and renew the book renew means you take it back again this is non renewal again spelling r e n e w a b a renewable resource they are not we are not able to renew it back so the resources the natural resources like metals and minerals 
fuels they are once used they are gone they cannot be created again and for formation of new minerals and metals and fuel it takes many many years to form because they are formed from as i told you dead animals plants and marine animals or sea plants okay so all these takes a time so they are that's why they are called exhaustible resources or non renewable resources so we should use these resources very carefully thank you children